Hi friends, in previous videos we have seen how to install parallel controller and how to use the parallel controller. So in this video we will see what is the difference between parallel request and parallel controller. So first I am adding a thread group and next I am adding a sampler of, uh, I am adding a parallel controller first. Next uh, I am adding parallel request. Parallel request. So both are used to send your request parallelly. So how? Uh, so what's the difference here? When what? Which uh, controller or which? Uh, uh, when to use request sample? Uh, HTTP parallel request sampler or when to use parallel controller? So uh, in parallel controller, in parallel controller, we can send any any kind of request. So it's a post, put, delete, or anything. But in a parallel request, HTTP request, you can send only the uh, get request, HTTP get request. So if you want to send a multiple post or multiple put or delete operations in your uh, parallel request, then you should go make use of parallel controller. So in parallel request, you can only use uh, your, like if your domain is already, if your main request, like let's say we'll have HTTP request and if we have an HTTP request with uh, uh, HTTPS and making this uh, Amazon.com and so path click request and here uh, here you can use only the relative URLs relative URLs like uh, uh, image uh, blah blah something uh, to .jpg or uh, just uh, get user info or for this kind of information, just get call. We cannot send any post information in this HTTP parallel request. So, in the parallel controller, it checks a different, different controller and we'll get the uh, we'll, we can have multiple HTTP calls here. So, we can add post, delete, delete get everything, any, any kind of request here. So, we can make a post on like we can make a get, we can uh, combination of post and get. It's a similar like a uh, normal transaction controller. But it it uh, triggers the, all the call at single go and get the response of all the all the requests and it skews the highest response of your request as a response time for the parallel controller. That that's how it works generally. Let's say the uh, uh, if the response time for the request one is two seconds, response time for the second request is five seconds, and response time for the third request is ten seconds. Uh, J meter the parallel controller will not sum the response time for three requests. So it picks the highest response time of your all the requests and it will respond as that 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 as a new response time. Now in our third request, if we get a response time of the 10 seconds, the response time for the parallel controller will be 10 seconds. So it won't include all this uh, uh, other request response time because it's a parallel controller and it it uh, fires the request at single go and the highest response time will be the maximum response time for all the requests. Okay, so in the parallel controller, in the parallel request uh, HTTP here it's the uh, same thing but it get for a get request only. Okay, so generally in parallel controller we suggest to use not more than six requests. Uh, There's a suggested way and if you want to uh, if you want to use your parallel controller just go through your browser to see the what are the parallel controllers, parallel requests which are going, parallel requests which are going, which are going uh, simultaneously, simultaneously in your uh, network app. So to make it a realistic behavior, to make it a realistic behavior, uh, I suggest to use the number of requests which are using to send in single results. Uh, this is a one, this is two, this is a three, this is a four. Four requests are going in the same same row. If you see this, uh, we have the same time frame here. It will be having same time frame. So just I'll suggest a number of requests which are sending to browser or to your mobile app. Same use the same number of calls. Don't include, exclude, or don't uh, uh, remove the calls from your parallel controller to get realistic behavior of your application or your website or your app. Okay. Thanks, thanks for the understanding.